guys, this is ScribbleTech, and I'm here with a tutorial on how to make an intro like the one you just saw of my ScribbleTech intro that has the four corners of text come out and then zoom into where you can see the Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube logo. You can see that's my wallpaper that I made. So we'll go ahead and show you how to do this. You can see mine is right there, but we're going to do this from scratch. So we're going to go ahead and right click and we're going to hit new project. Here we want no theme, widescreen, 30 frames per second, and we're going to name this intro 2. So here we have our blank project. Next, you're going to want an image that you want as your background to zoom over and all that kind of fanciness. So we're going to go ahead and drag that in. Now, it automatically plays for 4 seconds. We're going to go ahead and we're going to change that. And we're going to do clip adjustment. Bring over my inspector here. And we're going to go ahead and choose a 10 second intro. Next, you can apply video effects if you would like other kind of effects to be over your background, which is sometimes better, but because I am using such a bright white background in this image, none of these will really make an effect. Glow is usually a pretty good one. So we're going to cancel this, and you can see video if you want to adjust any of the exposure, brightness, contrast of your image. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to edit the cropping Ken Burns and rotation. So we're going to go to Ken Burns and we're going to do the start. So you can see I'm going to drag the start maybe to right here. And then slowly we want the end to bring us to there, just like my other. So again, we're going to e kind of even this out so it goes well, and done. So over the 10 seconds, we'll have a smooth scroll over to those logos. After that's done, you can go ahead and you can throw in some text here. For mine, I used the four corners where you can see this preview of how it goes to the different corners, each one you drag in. So that is a pretty cool effect. You could also do sideways drift which is a pretty cool one on these you can also do pull focus which is a cool one pull focus will pull the focus off of your image while the text appears and then you can have it fade into the final image that you want but for the purpose of this video we're going to use the sideways drift so you go ahead and just drag that over your video you can adjust the time here by dragging that out we're going to make a three second one here. We can go ahead and edit the font color here. Let's make it a red font color. We're going to go ahead and we're going to type in our news. Ah, sorry guys. news as it happens. So we can go ahead and we can play this section, news as it happens. And we can go ahead and use another one of those. And we can change this font to uh, black maybe. Go ahead and edit the text here and we'll go HD 1080p tutorials done. We're going to go ahead and drag this one out to three seconds. And we'll do one final clip here, which will bring us to a total of nine seconds. This one, we're going to use a green font. And we're going to go ahead and say,
gameplay footage and more. So we can go ahead and play this now. And you can see it ends with the final pan over to the Scribble Tech with the Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube logo. So that's the text. You can also add an ending one if you want, but for the purposes of this, I'm all set here. That is a pretty basic intro right there. Next, you can add music if you like. Now you can use, if you use iTunes music, you're going to run into issues of copyright. So you can go ahead and move over to iMovie sound effects if you want, or I also have someone who makes their own music, which I got my music from, uh, the rabbi. So you can see you could use all these different types of sounds that it comes with. So you could go um, you know, any of these types of clips, you could see the lengths on the side, and you can choose what kind of music or anything that you'd like to throw into yours. We're going to go ahead and throw this one in for the purposes of length. So you can see, there we go. If you'd like a different part of the clip to play, you choose it right here. So let's say we want the clip to start right there, and it'll only last, we want 10 seconds of the clip. So let's go ahead and play it now. Okay, so we're done with clip trimmer. Okay, guys, so that is the majority of this tutorial. You can see that we end up with a nice, clean intro. Not too fancy, but very nice and able to put on your videos as a nice intro for any type of video that you may be making on YouTube. So the final step here is you're going to go, I don't actually have my menu bar up here, but you're going to go to um, share and you're going to export your movie. You can also, as an alternative to that, just press command E to export. You're going to get this. This will export it as a dot movie and you can choose what you'd like to export it as, name, all that fancy stuff. Also, as an alternative, you can go to Share and use Export using QuickTime. Export using QuickTime gives you this, and you can choose all these specific options that you would like. That is what I used. So you can choose Preset, or um, you can use your own options in this option menu, including Audio Level, all that kind of advanced editing as exporting. That's what I exported this to get an uh, optimal sound of the music that I had playing. So I also suggest doing this. Thanks, guys. This was a tutorial by Scribble Tech, and make sure you subscribe and watch all of our videos as we have more content coming. I hope you enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see some of your intros. Thanks for watching, guys.